Number three, and this this is this is one I think is a really strong one. Uh, number three is depersonalize. And it says here, when someone disagrees with us or somehow makes our life difficult, remember that it's typically not about us. It's about them um, and their own pain, their own struggle. And it's got a quote here, in fact, from Will Smith, where it says, um, because in all honesty, everyone is struggling. Some people are better at hiding it than others. And I think it's so easy when you do have a conflict that you go straight into what, you know, why are they doing this to me? Why are they attacking me? Why are they making my life difficult, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And that bit, and it's something I've been telling myself is normally it's got nothing to do with you. Their their decision, their action is all focused around their mindset and their activity. You, your feelings are almost a byproduct of their feelings in this situation, but it's so easy, again, to, to trigger that judgmental and defensive response. And I think once you... Once you take the personalization about it, once you realize that it's not actually about you, again, it's another step in getting rid of that wasted energy and getting to a solution and dealing with things. Yeah. That's a really powerful one for me. That one is, I think. Yeah, definitely. I agree with that. Ryan, you got anything on that one? Not not more than what Lee said, but I think uh, I fully agree with what Lee, Lee kind of pointed out. So just quickly for me is that I think what I've said to Lee and Ryan, I want to sort of like for me, when I do my, my subjects, I want to try and focus it more on how we can use this for mental health issues. And I think this is a big one for that is that, you know, everybody's got mental health. Like everyone has mental health, right? Everyone has to maintain mental health like your body. So I think this one's a really big one because everyone's got got shit going on. And I think we have to be mindful of that. And I think you're right. We project their pain on others. And I think we just got to be mindful of that. And we've got our own pain. And sometimes that can trigger us. And Eckhart Tolle's talked about a pain body. And when someone gets triggered, they then try and trigger you. So you're both entering into this whole emotional back, uh, you know, back and forth, which then escalates. And then, like you say, it goes back to your first one about being mindful of what you say. So, you know, you'll, you'll say things that in the moment when you didn't really mean them, but you can't take them back. And then people, oh, do you remember when you said that? And it, it, again, it becomes really, really, really does destroy relationships. So it's really good that, Lee. Like, yeah, thanks for that. Make sure you take Number... the box as well. He What's swore. That? He swore. Oh, is this this passionate Joe? Do you remember, I remember when he wouldn't dare utter a swear word. He couldn't even spell it. <laughs> yeah, it's because of you two. You influenced me. That's what it is. Positive influence, Joe. Positive. Be passionate. Be passionate.